Are you finding it difficult to differentiate between dream and vision? Beloved, this video is for you. You don't understand what a dream is and you don't understand what a vision is. This episode was carefully crafted for you. I believe you've been blessed by the episodes upon episodes we keep on rolling out on this platform. Beloved, you'll be doing us a great good by commenting, by sharing, by tagging people, by following, by subscribing to our YouTube page and by inviting people to watch this video. Please, what good will it do you when you enjoy this and you don't invite others to do so? I pray for someone who will invite someone that God will bless you and open your eyes to the realm of possibilities in the mighty name of Jesus I have prayed. Amen. We are still talking about understanding dreams. But before I go deep into that subject matter dreams, I want to lay a mark of differentiation. I want to differentiate between dreams and vision so that you will understand what we are talking about as we go forward today. Beloved, hear me. The difference between dream and a vision is that in dream, you are the main character or part of the characters in that dream acting it all out. While in vision, you are watching it all acted out. This is what I mean. In dream, you are still you are the one acting it out. You saw yourself doing this. You saw yourself doing that. Ah, when I woke up, I saw myself here. I was doing this and I was doing that. You were acting it out in that dream. But in vision, you are standing watching at something happening. You are standing watching at something happening. Beholding God unfolding something. You are not a character in vision, but you are a spectator. You are a watcher. But in dream, you are the character. You are the play. You are the, the one playing it out. Pardon me. Number two, visions reveals God's nature to you. As you watch and behold it play out as an, as an event. But dreams reveals God's plan of which you also are taking part of it. In vision, you see God's mighty act. It's like you're watching a horror movie. You're watching something playing out. You're watching the majestic demonstration of our God. Sometimes true objects, true things, true, true formations in that vision. But in this dream aspect, you are the one acting it out. But what is happening is that plans are unfolding to you. You are watching God's plan unfold to you. Number three, visions can be seen with your eyes open or in a light sleeping state or what you call dozing. You are not in a deep sleep. But dreams comes when deep sleep has fallen upon you. Visions can be seen with your eyes open. You can be sitting and you will see a vision. It depends on how greatly you have cultured your spirit man to, 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 to peek into the signals of spiritual realm. But in, in that of dreams, you must be asleep. You remember the dreams of Joseph? That was not a vision. He was the one playing it out. He said he saw this bow to me. He saw that bow to me. He was the main character in that dream. So that was never a vision. That was a dream. Daniel chapter 10 verse 1. This is a typical example of a vision. In the third year of the reign of King Cyrus of Persia, Daniel, also known as Belteshazzar, had no had another vision. Verse 7 says, only I, Daniel, saw the vision. He saw the vision. The man with me saw nothing, but they were suddenly terrified and ran away to hide. Let me put this as an instance. If a man lived for 75 years on earth, calculatively, if he sleeps an average of 8 hours a night, he has spent 25 years out of those 75 years sleeping. And out of those 25 years spent sleeping, 6 years would have been spent as a time he was dreaming. Six years of dreaming out of 75 years of life on earth. What you do with the meaning of the dreams you have in these six years out of the 75 years would tell the kind of life you lived in these 75 years as a failure, as one who had God, as one whose destiny was fulfilled. It will be determined by what you did by these six years of dreaming. I want to tell you this. You have to place importance in your dream life. You can encounter God through dreams. God reveals his strength and glory to us through visions, but he directs us through dreams. 
Numbers chapter 12 verse 6 says, And the Lord said unto them, Now listen to what I have said, or what I will say. If there were prophets among you, I, the Lord, would reveal myself in vision. I would speak to them in dreams. He reveals himself through visions, but he speaks through dreams. This is still the difference between dreams and vision. God reveals himself through visions, but he speaks and gives us his plan for our life through dreams. May God open your eyes. I want to summarize this episode by saying this. In the Bible days, you were in fact considered at a very advantaged position if you could dream, if you could understand, and if you could interpret dreams. This is the qualification for which Pharaoh hired Joseph and placed him over the affairs of Egypt. May God open your eyes to the dream world and make you understand that the physical is controlled by the spiritual. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want to draw the curtain in this episode by leading someone again to Jesus. Say this prayer with me, Lord Jesus, forgive my sinful life. I accept that you died and rose on the third day and I will serve you as my Lord and personal Savior. Cancel my name from the book of death and write it in the book of life. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. As we await tomorrow's episode, do me a great pleasure by sharing this video, commenting, and inviting others to watch. See you tomorrow. We believe you were blessed with today's episode of Expository Gospel Moment. For prayers, testimonies, or further inquiries, you can reach Mac Miracle on plus 234-812-812. 328-8593. That is plus 234-812-328-8593. God bless you real good.